Hey Scorpio, it's me Alex and I'm coming to you from sunny Daytona Beach, Florida. This is a view from my room of the amazing Atlantic Ocean. I hope you guys are doing amazing and I hope your year is off to a, a, an even more amazing start as I'm adjusting my tripod here. Now, Scorpio, I don't forgot your cards. I left them at home. So please forgive me. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right, let's see what we have for you. Happy New Year. I hope everybody's doing amazing. Scorpio, what you got going on? What you need answers on? How can I help? What are we talking about? All right, God, as I look out over to, over the ocean, watching the pelicans just dive in, eating lunch, star card, yes, uh, ace of cups. Mm, somebody want to talk to you? Oh, Lord, look at those knights. Okay. I don't know why my tripod is not. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't screw it in good. I think that should be okay though. Let's do it this way. Sorry for the card adjust, the camera adjust. I'm on location. <laughs> Vacation on location. All right, so let's see what we have here. Star card, recovery, healing, joy, happiness. I'm also hearing a new beginning. You are somebody's star or somebody's your star. I'm also hearing for you, Scorpio, that you're starting to come into your own, whatever your own is, I don't know. Um, as in, it's relative, right? It could be business, it could be you know, um, confidence, it could be self-esteem, it could be standing up for yourself, it could be finding your voice. So when I say you're coming into your own, take it as it resonates and apply it to your own situation. All right, with that Ace of Cups, that's opening your heart, that's new beginning, that's new love. Now, okay, that, all right, thank you guys. I just heard this, this star card is a re realization. But I don't feel like this is your realization. I feel like this is somebody you've been dealing with, their realization. It's almost like they're realizing what you mean to them, who you are. Um, oh my God, I, you know, I thought I was just going to have Scorpio as a one-nighter, a two-nighter, a three-nighter. It's like, no, wait a minute. I need Scorpio in my life, right? The star, northern star, you know, um, stars to guide us, stars we could see millions and billions of miles away. I really do feel like, Scorpio, somebody has just figured out that you're the shit. And I would say to them, why y'all take so long? You don't know? You ain't know? <laughs> right? Um, not only that, but I'm also hearing for a lot of you guys, too, you're realizing this as well. Right. It feel it really does feel like some sort of um, finding yourself, finding your purpose, finding your voice, um, just finding that beautiful star, that beautiful essence inside of you. I could easily say it's an awakening. I won't because that's cheesy and it's overused, overdone. Right. But I realized that I feel like in the word came jumping out. I feel like this star card for me is representing realization. OK. Now, when it comes to love, when it comes to matters of the heart, you have two suitors, okay? I, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Y'all have two people who are interested in you, right? One who's taking this sweet, mosey-ass damn time. And then you have one who I feel like is rushing in to talk to you, is rushing in. It's almost like they realize that you're their star. Now they're like, oh shit, I can't waste no more time. Scorpio, what you doing? right um and then you got one who thinks that they have time um angels are also saying too this this knight of pentacles with the four of pentacles 
it's almost like you're dealing with somebody who knows they're not necessarily open. They could be having financial challenges. Um, it's almost like they know they're not prepared and or ready to head towards you. Now, selfishly, I feel like they're going to head towards you anyway. And when I say selfishly, I mean they can't not head towards you, right? Like they can't just sit idle. So it's almost like they're headed towards you. They want to be with you. They want to be around you, but they're not opening up. They're not communicating that. They're not um, expressive. They're not allowing their feelings to pour out openly and freely. And I really do feel, especially with all these pentacles here, Scorpio, it's because they're having financial challenges. I also kind of feel, especially with the three of pentacles, somebody is trying to financially align, right? Financially align. Now, here's the thing. Scorpios ain't cheap, right? But also at the same time, Scorpios don't need you to be broke either, right? Because Scorpios are royalty. You know what I mean? So it's look, it's like, look, I'll date you if you work at McDonald's, but I really need you to be a manager and instead of a, fl a fry flipper. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> Angels, calm down. We look, I'm at the beach. I'm already in woosaw mode. Calm it down. So yeah, I do kind of feel like somebody knows their holding back but also at the same time i also just heard well guess what scorpio they gonna hold on to you as well so if you think you're gonna shake this person think again right that three of pentacles also to me too is things coming together angels are also saying to me too instead of um for i know i mentioned this could be two people but angels are also saying too this could be one person as well right for some of you it may be two people for one of you, it's almost like somebody's transition towards you. Thank you for showing me that, right? Because I feel like this is what's going on today from left to right. They know who you are. They have a lot of love for you, Scorpio. They really want to talk to you about what's going on with them. But also at the same time, they also kind of want you to know that they're in a the process of getting themselves together and trying to find some sort of financial stability, and it the fin financial stability will come three of pentacles also represents two hey scorpio could you like give me maybe three months to get my ish together right now that's left to right from right to left it's almost like this person knows that they have to have their stuff together because scorpio you have your stuff together okay and and i don't even mean financially for you specifically a lot of you guys yeah are incredibly balanced incredibly smart incredibly worldly incredibly experienced like whomever this is who's dealing with you um they 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 put you not i'm not going to say a pedestal because i don't um accept pedestal but they look up to you right they they hold you in high regards that's better um they hold you in high regards and it's almost like they are having financial challenges right now they're trying their ass in all 10 toes to get out of their challenging financial position and they want to talk to you about it because they want you to know about their financial position but also at the same time they do want you to know how they feel about you how they see themselves with you how you are a star for them how you're you're an inspiration to them how basically they they're trying to get to you they're trying to head towards you so realistically, it's almost like this person is saying to you, Scorpio, can you please wait around? Can you please not go and get married? Can you please not go and get another real into another relationship until I get my, my stuff together? Basically, it's almost like, can you please not take yourself away from me? Now, also to that's also represented there, too, with the four of pentacles. Angels just said to me, a lot of people can relate to this. So if you have somebody who not really pleading because that sounds derogatory, but if you have somebody who just kind of presented that to you as in, listen, I'm not where I need to be, but I know I love you and I know I want to be with you. So I know you, you can have anybody you want and I know it's unfair to ask you to wait for me, but I don't want to lose you. If you had that kind of conversation, could you please let me know in the comments? Because angels just said, yeah, they, they, just, they just had that. They just went through that. And look at the 10 of pentacles right there. You are their Ten of Pentacles. They want to invest in you, but they're not coming to you with no nickels and dimes. They know they need to bust out those grants and those um, Franklins, 50s and 100s, right? And USDs. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Ooh, yeah. yes, Scorpio. Nice. My tripod 
leg is sitting right there. So let me see if I can move that back or move that up. Y'all know I'm always moving my cards as a way of uh, channeling. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Six of Wands. Yeah, look at this. They're stuck. They don't know what to do. I feel like for a lot of you guys, they see you, like I said, as an inspiration. So for a lot of you guys, they really may need advice from you, especially financial advice. But I also kind of feel like pride is present here as well because it's all, and yeah, there's Pisces. Pisces have a lot of pride. But um, um, with the Four of Pentacles and the Hanging Man, they're stuck. They don't know how to ask. They don't know how to reveal their truth, number one. Hey, I'm mucked up. I just lost my job. I had to move in with my mom. You know, my car note is past it. You know what I mean? They don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all know. Y'all know I hear myself like two seconds later. There's a delay, kind of, sort of. Um, so I just heard all of that. But um, they, they, they don't know how to tell you that they're in this challenging position. And definitely here with the Empress. Yeah, look at the King of Pentacles and the Empress. He's looking over at her, right? He's adoring her and he's ador uh, uh, he's um, enamored with her, right? And he's the King of Pentacles, right? But I feel like your person is trying to get to that King of Pentacles status, male or female, because to you, you're their Empress. Not only that, but I'm happy to report they'll get there. They'll get there. It is going to take some time, right? It is going to take some time. But I feel like more than anything, they want you to know how they feel about you. It's like, Scorpio, please don't take your love away from me. I, I, don't, I don't even know why this would matter, why any of this would matter if at the end I don't, I don't get you as well, right? Because your person can financially stabilize, but to them, it's almost like, you know, the stabilization is one part and it's not the cherry on top that you are, Scorpio. So they can get there, but it would be way better if when they got there, you were there also. Now, I really wanted to say if you were there waiting for them, but I don't like the term waiting. I don't like the energy of waiting. So it's almost like Scorpio, you're going to have to kind of like go on with your life, do other things, live your life. If you meet somebody, great. If you meet somebody else, fine. Um, if you don't, fine. But stay out of this energy, the stagnation, the waiting. Because you and I, we just had a conversation about building momentum. So Scorpio, you're out the house. You're living your life. You're living your best life. You're doing you. Yeah, please be careful about parking your energy waiting for this person to get their ish right angels just also said to me too if you stop it will hinder their energy so to an extent it's almost like you have to become the proverbial carrot in front of the horse or the mule and angels just said you're gonna have to put some turbos on that carrot right so it's almost like if you want them to accelerate and build the momentum and create the momentum it's almost like you're going to have to pull away, pull away, pull away so they can hurry up, hurry up and hurry up. Because you see right now, they know they have to do it, but there could be some issues with speed, right? Y'all see the, the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is going below the speed limit. Scorpio is always above the speed limit legally. Ha ha. Right. <laughs> so anyway, let me now come out of my head and start looking at these cards because I was completely channeling. Um, with the, uh, star card here in the 10 of pentacles, somebody knows your worth and your value, not only your worth and your value, but there's this empress energy, knight of pentacles, he or she is moving and heading towards their divine feminine Scorpio, whomever this person is, they know you're the one you're sitting right here with the ace of cups, right? Not only that, but with the justice card, it's like, no, I have to have Scorpio. Like my life is not going to go any other way. If Scorpio's not in it, right? Like I'm not accepting a uh, failure. I'm not accepting no for an answer. Scorpio, if I got to come and get you, I'm coming to get you. Okay. But also at the same time, um, yeah, they're, yeah, they, see, start out slow and there is their motivation. But angels are also saying too, the Knight of swords has everything to do with thought as well. Thought and intellect and logic. Something is going to hit this person. Um, and say, you know what, Scorpio is fine as hell and Scorpio can have whoever they want. If you don't get up in there, you may miss out. 
I feel like that's going to accelerate their process. That in addition to you being sparse, right? You, you know, lessening or loosening up, loosening up the communication. Um, some of you guys may have to say, okay, well, until you get your stuff together, I'm going to go and live my life. That's also going to be a heavy motivator as well. But I also kind of feel like here with the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles, this person is looking for some sort of answer, response, acknowledgement from you that you're going to be there once I finally make it. And I'm, I'm kind of split on that one, Scorpio. I don't know if I want to give them, you know, that confirmation yet. Um, the Knights represent back and forth and movement, right? So... You know, I, if it were me personally, I'd be like, I don't know. Let's see. Let's play it by ear, right? I would give them the the biggest, vaguest response on the planet. Yeah, but they're trying to head towards you, Scorpio. I'm also hearing, too, that this person is trying to live up to what they think your expectations are. They're also trying to live up to the status, your status um, based on how they perceive it. So if, they're, if they see you as this empress here, they're trying to live up to that empress status. Now you guys know living up to that empress status would be the emperor. But at the end of the day, I, I'm not mad at the king of pentacles either, right? Because I also kind of feel like for some of you guys, your person is either a Taurus sun or has Taurus somewhere in their chart, which basically says, listen, I have to come to the table with some sort of finan finances because um, that's who I am. That's that's what I identify with. I can't be a man to you or a partner to you or a leader to you or mate to you and be coming into this empty handed. I don't I don't um, tap the king of pentacles out of alignment. Yeah, it's going to take some time. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this is Virgo and this is Taurus and Libra. Who comes first? Taurus, right? Taurus and then Libra. Uh, is it Virgo and Libra? Taurus, Virgo and Libra. Okay. So what is that? Taurus is uh, April and May. Libra is October and September. And um, Virgo is September and... Uh, July, August, August and um, September. So I'm just calling out those months because I feel like those months could be significant to some of you guys. Yeah, and this is where they are. But I do kind of feel like, again, with that motivation, you know, kind of with that fire put up under them, they're, they're going <laughs> to, I hate to say it, they're going to giddy up, <laughs> right? Because look, you got three movement cards here. Um, angels are also saying to me too, I feel like this may not apply to all of you guys, but may apply to some. And this is going to sound really crappy. I also kind of feel like too, if you break communication with this person, that's really going to put an inferno up under them, right? Because again, based on who you're dealing with, they just need some sort of access to you. If you pull that access away from them, that should be enough to motivate them to get them here. Not only that, but angels just also said too, for some of you guys, there was this realization of not just you being their star, not their hope, not their, you know, sun, so on and so forth. But I really do feel like, I don't, I'm, I don't mean falling in love with you, but I really do feel like either you just open this person's heart and I'm talking bus wide open, right? Or, um, they just realized how deeply you are in their heart. They realized how much they love you. But not only that, but with the Ace of Cups here as well, I feel like this person also um, has realized they're not going to love anybody else like you, right? There is no other love than the love of a Scorpio. I mean, we know that. But, um, I feel like this person just understood the significance of the love that they have for you. And it's not anything that they want to part from. Also, at the same time, it's um, angels are saying they're being a good selfish as in, no, I got to get Scorpio. I got to do what I got to do to get Scorpio. And I'm using the term selfish because it sounds like, oh, you just want me for yes. You know, no, this is a good thing because you're motivating them. You're changing them. Say it with me, Scorpio. You're transforming them. 
I promise you guys I'm sitting here just watching these pelicans dive into the water to get these fish. It's so freaking amazing. God is so good. And then they just sit on top of the water. One just went in right now. I told my son, I was like, yo, first of all, they fly, they walk, and they swim. I'm like, I want to be a pelican when I come back in my next life. If I got to come back to this earth, I'm just saying. Me and God, we already have a plan. God was like, no. Actually, he said no. Look at it's flying out. Of, oh, my God. Anyway, let me focus. We have Aquarius here. We got Libra. We have um, Gemini. We got Taurus. We got Virgo. We got Taurus and Libra. And we got Pisces here. So let's see what Angel Answers has for you, Scorpio. No. Not the right time. Forgiveness. Nice. No forgiveness within the next few weeks. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, it came out anyway. Not the right time. You all saw when I said no, it's not, not the right time. Yeah, it just kind of feels like the timing is off. And I don't think it's universal timing. I think it's free will timing, as in this person is not ready for you. And I love it. Thank you, Jesus. Because angels just said to me, um, they said... And you have to be a mother to this person and not mother as in nurturing and there and comforting. No, you have to be the stern mother that says, no, I'm not going to accept you in this halfway position. You, you know, until you're ready, I will be over here. So to an extent, it's almost like a, a child throwing a tantrum. The worst thing you could do, and this is just my parenting. Don't, you know, this is not reading. The worst thing you could do is cater to that child throwing a tantrum because they, they're trying to get your attention in the first place by throwing the tantrum. And then if you give them your, your attention, that's just gonna fuel the tantrum to even greater you know heights, right? But if you kind of just leave them alone and kind of quote unquote, ignore them, you know, make sure they're safe, not abandoned, neglected, whatever. But if you do not cater to the BS, the tantrum dissipates and, and they get back to themselves. And that's what the angels just showed me in that little two seconds was that you have to mother this person by not catering to them trying. You cater to them when they freaking succeed, right? It's like, I'm not going to cheer you on. You know, I'll be like, yo, good job. Keep it going. Right. But you don't get a bunch of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? We in January now. Great job. February, March, fuck out of here. You should be done already. <laughs> tell you, the thuggery. Y'all see I got my thug cards in my head, so. <laughs> All right, Moonology, what do you have for Scorpio? Hold your vision. That, that motherly tough love. Hold your vision. Don't you dare let this person show you like their pinky toe and be like, see, mom, I'm walking. It's like, mm. I ain't impressed, baby. Okay, one fell on the floor. The energy is gaining momentum. Yes. Uh, yeah. Don't let pride get in the way. I feel like that's some of that tantrum energy. Yeah, if you kind of give them just an inch, they're going to take a freaking mile. Your commitment is being tested. Nice. I don't think this is yours. I think this is theirs. It's like, yeah, how committed are you to your process? I'm going to give you guys another shot of the ocean too before we head out. Because it is so glorious. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So this person, like I said to you guys, a uh, card at the bottom, work through your fears. These cards are for your person, not for you. Work through your fears, right? Because you do need a bit of a pinch, right? We, we, the universe is not going to hand Scorpio over to you on a silver platter. There has to be a pinch of fear that they could lose you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, I feel like this here is how this person normally lives their lives. But with you, now they realize who you are. Like, yo, I'm not going to meet another person like this again. I got to get my ish together. Their commitment is being tested. It's like, oh, you serious about Scorpio? Let me see. They have to hold their vision, right? They have to steady the course. Energy is gaining momentum because they're coming in for your heart, Scorpio. 
and they have to not let pride get in their way. That's that. That again is that tantrum. Like, what do you mean you're not gonna wait for me? Listen, I, the, I'm not. I'm not your servant, right? I'm not. I don't. I wasn't brought here for you. All right, I'm pulling my camera back up. Okay, Scorpio, I'm only doing this for you. This is Daytona Beach. A beautiful Daytona Beach. Watch this. Yes, where you could drive your vehicle onto the beach. All right, guys, if the video does, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Adios from Daytona. Love you guys.